Following on from the previous video, we got to this stage here where the arc length is given by is given by this. So we needed to integrate it from a time of zero to the time of flight. So so it boils down to us trying to integrate this. So um, so we're going to use substitution. So let this thing here be a. So later we we can put a into here, and then let this thing here be z. Um, so we can put the z in here, but we needed the the, uh, the, the we need the dt. So looking at this, we need the dt. Well, this thing here is just a constant. So when you differentiate it, it disappears. When you differentiate it with respect to time, it disappears. So um, so when you differentiate it, it will then just give you minus g here. And then divide both sides by minus g. That will then give you this thing here. So dt equals this thing here. So we can put this into the dt. We can put z into here and we can put a into here. So this whole complicated thing here will become a lot simpler. It will become this. It will become this. But notice that now we are in the um, Z realm, but we are still working in terms of time. So we need to make the adjustment. We need to make the adjustment. We need to make the adjustment. So um, when, when time equals zero, remember earlier we said let z equals this thing here. So uh, put 0 into the t here. When time equals time, in the z realm it would be this. Well in the z realm it would be, put 0 into here, then in the z realm it would be u sine theta. So it would be u sine theta. So in in when time equals 0, in the z realm, z would be u sine theta. And then now um, now put this into the t here so that will then become that will then become uh, z equals u sine theta which is this thing here and then put this into the t um, the two g's will cancel each other out giving you minus 2u sine theta so um, so that would then become uh, that would then become minus u sine theta earlier was u sine theta so, so this thing here will now become this. So now it's just a matter of us trying to integrate this. So now um, to integrate it, to integrate it, we need to use um, trigonometric substitution. So um, I hope you can see that there's some sort of Pythagoras involved here. You've got squared, squared, and then square root. So create a, um, a right angle triangle in such a way that this will be true. Well, if you make the opposite to be z, and the adjacent to be a, then uh, then the hypotenuse will have no choice but to be root a squared plus z squared. So this thing here, you can see, it's right there. So now, um, now looking at looking at this triangle here, if this angle here is alpha, it, we we're just going to call it alpha. Um, secant alpha would be secant alpha would be hypotenuse divided by the adjacent. Hypotenuse divided by the adjacent. Uh, times both sides by a, so that will then become this. So now we can put this into this thing here. But then we need the dz. So uh, so looking at this z here, uh, tan the angle tan alpha will be z over a. So times both sides by a. So now differentiate both sides to extract the dz. So differentiate both sides. This will be dz. And then this would be a secant squared alpha d alpha. So now we've got our dz. So we can put this into here. So that will then become, so the dz would be this. And then this complicated square root thing would simply be a secant alpha, which is this thing here. Well, anyway, uh, from here, that will then take us to here. Um, uh, but bear in mind that we are now working in terms of alpha, but we are still in terms of z and z here. By right, we should make the adjustment to to um, by right we should make the adjustment to alpha equal something and alpha equal something. But we are just going to leave it as z equal something, z equal something, because later on I'm going to convert all the alphas into into. Z. I'm going to convert it back into Z. So for the time being, 
let's just leave it as z equals something z equals something so let's tidy this thing up so you've got a times a um, so um, a is a constant so we can take it out of the integral that will then give us a squared and uh, secant times secant squared that's secant to the power of 3 by now I'm expecting you to um, to know how to integrate this if you can try to memorize this by heart because because um, secant to the power of 3 when you integrate it it crops up quite a lot so if you can try to memorize it if you integrate secant to um, if you in try to integrate secant to the power of 3 it will then give you this massive long thing here well if you can try to memorize it if not look it up so integrate it it will then give you this thing here so we are now currently at this stage here um, hang on so we are now at this stage here so uh, let's let's clean this up so um, take the half out that so that will then give you 1 over 2 here this is a half here but now we need to convert everything back into the Z realm because at the moment we, we don't want the answer in terms of alpha something and then you've got alpha here and then you've got alpha here convert all the alphas back into Z so remember our right angle triangle that we created earlier well secant is secant is hypotenuse over adjacent so secant is hang on so secant is um, hypotenuse over adjacent which is this thing here so this secant block here would then become this thing here and what is tan tan alpha well tan alpha is z over a so that's z over a so this is your tan tan alpha well secant is this thing here and tan alpha is this thing here so now we are we are now all in terms of z there's no alphas around and then this is z equals something and z equals something so we are now currently here so hang on and remember earlier we said um, I think at the beginning of the previous video we said a equals this thing here so um, so we can put uh, oh before we do that um, let's let's try and tidy this up you've got one thing and then you've got another block and then you've got another block here you can actually could because this is a constant it has nothing to do with Z we can push it back into into um, into here so that would then give us this um, a times a would be a squared so it get cancelled out uh, and then you've got your minus minus and then you've got your 2g 2g so push this into here and push this into here so that would be minus because of this minus here and then you've got your constant your constant and then you've got your lin lin so that will then take us to here so now um, now we've got to uh, we've got to put this into Z or in, in all the Z's here and then take away and then put this into all the Z's into all the Z's and so on so let's try and do this it's gonna get messy but bear with me so at the, be at the beginning of the previous video we said a equals this thing here so hang on so the first step is put this into here so that would then be well you've got a minus here and this is another minus here so that would be a positive and then uh, when you put this into here so this thing here would then become this and uh, a squared a squared is really u squared cos squared u squared cos squared and then put this into here when you square this it, well negative times the negative it will become a positive um, so it will become u squared sine squared so when you put this into here it will then become this and then take away take away uh, a squared so a squared is u squared cos squared u squared cos squared and then um, this is u squared cos squared and then when you put this into here when you square it this negative is irrelevant so it becomes positive this thing here and um, a is really u cos theta and put this into here so now the negative does make a difference um, it would then become this negative here would then become when you put it into here 
it would then become this thing here well it would then become this thing here so now that's the first part so hang on hang on so put this into here into here into here into here it will then become this whole thing here okay and then you take away and then put this into here same process as earlier and then it will become this whole thing here um, you've got to be careful because you take away, um, you take away and then you put this into here you've got another negative so it becomes a positive think about it um, uh, this whole thing here will then become this okay so think about it work pause the video and, and work this through um, it will then become this thing here so we are currently at this stage here we are currently at this stage here okay think about it pause the video and work it through and then now um, now now let me think um, hang on let me think oh yeah so um, so this thing here this whole thing here well you can um, you see cos squared and sine squared you can factor out um, hang on let, let, let me just show you a u squared and then you've got cos squared theta plus sine squared theta so this here is just one so it becomes u squared u squared and then square root it so that just becomes u so this whole ugly thing here is really just u well you are ugly but anyway um, this thing here will become u squared here so uh, so this thing here will become sine theta and then uh, and then and then what let me think uh, so th this whole thing here will then become this block here and then uh, this whole thing here is just u uh, it's just u and then you've got another u here so we cancel that it would it would just be one over cos it would just be one over cos and then you've got u cancels out with this u here so it's just it would just be sine over cos sine over cos and then this whole thing here would just be u would just be u times u here so that would be u squared and then you've got your sine sine 2g 2g and then you've got your uh, this whole thing here would be u cancels out with this u down here so that would become this thing here and then uh, u u so that would just become sine over cos sine over cos this whole ugly thing here will then become this thing here okay so now now let me think um, hang on let me think so this thing here is exactly the same as this thing here so that will then become uh, two lots of the same thing but then this two will cancel out with this two here so that would just become this thing here okay so merging these two together will then give you this um, this stays the same oh and uh, yeah so hang on sorry so this block here stays the same ah oh, sorry I'm getting confused whether well, uh, this block here will then become this block here because um, cos cos so you can merge this into one fraction that will then give you this and then uh, and then this whole block here will then become this thing here because you can merge these two together same denominator same denominator you can merge them into one fraction so we are now currently at this stage here okay so hang on let me think so now um, now you've got three blocks one two three blocks um, this block here is positive this block here is negative so I'm just gonna switch these two around switch them around so now it becomes plus and then minus that's all I'm doing okay so we are now currently here and then let me think um, so now um, this is exactly the same as this so we can factor it out and then brackets and then this thing here is this take away 
this thing here. So basically, I'm just factoring the uh, just factoring out these two blocks. Okay, so that will then give us this thing with a whole massive thing here. So remember, log of one thing divided by log of another. Th log one log a over b equals log a take away log b. So now um, now we've got well we can we can just get this divided by this. So we can just get this divided by this. So that would then give us that would then give us um, that would then give us this thing here. So the arc length is given by this thing here. Okay, so that's that's your final answer. So what that means is you firing you firing a cannonball at a speed of u at an angle of theta and whatever planet you're on, you can always work out the arc length from the start until it lands. Okay?